now then, welcome back to another episode of Qantas on the FTOG server. Yes, I have not forgotten about this series, and yes, I do know there is a creeper standing right beside me. And he's not blowing up. Yes. I've not forgotten about the series, I just had a fairly busy week last week, and just managed to get a few of my single player episodes out, and the rest of the time I was busy doing real life stuff. So I missed a few episodes of Qantas last week. And there's other stuff that I'm missing out on as well. I'm trying to get back onto schedule and get back up to date with video production and sorting things out. But it takes a little bit of time. Now what about this dude? Who knows what... Who, who knows who made this? Anybody know who made this? It's a chisel and bits. Somebody made a creeper from chisel and bits and somewhere down the line came and dropped it off behind the bar. I was just walking through here, right? I was just uh, I was just coming from this direction. I was just coming from this direction, I was just thinking, right, I'll just come and feed the animals and get collect some, do some farming. Oh, there's the iron golems, there's the iron... What the? There's a creeper behind the counter. What? what? And then I creeped towards it, or creeperish, and realized it was a chisel and bits creeper. Very cool, very cool, but who made it? Who made it? Answers in the comments down below, because I don't know who made it. I don't know who made it, um, but I'm, I haven't got to that video yet, I guess. There's a whole host of videos being produced by the FTOG people, and I try and catch up with them, I try and watch them all, but I keep forgetting um, where I'm up to. So sometimes I miss one or two, as I'm going through the list of um, uh, yeah people who have... Uh, been doing episodes I sometimes miss one or two because I forget where I'm up to and I miss a video but uh, when three or four come out every day there's always some more videos from the FTOG group and I've got to re try and catch up with those and try and figure out and all that kind of stuff because stuff that was happening in real life last week uh, just managed to get the better of me and completely really completely Completely got the better of me. Lots of things to do last week. Uh, lots of fun things, I have to say. Lots of fun things. I was mostly entertaining my uh, my children. And so, all the best all the best things to do in the world. Playing with your own kids. Having fun. We were playing FIFA and uh, Minecraft minigames and all sorts of little bits and pieces around. And then there was Mother's Day, so we had to go out and do all that as well and all that kind of stuff. So, I haven't been on doing quite as much stuff as I wanted to around here. Um, I wanted to get a lot more done. But, the boys, my boys, have been busy playing Minecraft on uh, the computers, using my computer, while I go... Oh, I can't use my computer today, because they're using it to play Minecraft minigames on. So, I will go and play on the Xbox One with my daughter and play FIFA instead. So, that's what I've been doing, really. Um... So I was hoping that I would have got the second tower up here by now. I'm doing the same tower there. I'm trying to do a second tower there. Uh, I was hoping to have got that done. And kind of squared off this area here. So that the two towers twin together. And then I was working on making that into a kind of a mystical cave area. And to do that I wanted some cool stuff going along around this side in this section. This whole kind of section was the next little bit. We skipped over quite a bit of the magic mods in the magic era. We did a fair bit though. We did uh, Batania, we did a little dark utilities, we did a Batania tree farm, and we did some roots. So we did a little bit of magic. Uh, but the majority of the magic, we, we did this flying broom that I'm on as well. Majority of the magic that I need is literally right next door. Literally couldn't get any closer unless he moved in. I might talk to Grok actually about moving this stuff in. Because, well, he hasn't built himself a base. Like, it takes a little while to load in because of all the stuff going on over there. Um, he hasn't built his own base as such. He's just kind of built all of his magic mod stuff out onto the islands in between us. Uh, getting closer and closer. But anyway, um, I've been trying to finish this off. I've been trying to finish this off. And I'm, I've run out of materials again. Right? It's really annoying when you run out of materials. When you're trying to get something built and you think, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Put the tower up on Schematica, got the schematic up and started 
the building level by level by level by level got it all lined up took me ages to figure out where i wanted it exactly so it all lined up all the way through and internally lined up and everything as well took me ages to figure it all out and then started running out of materials and of course because i haven't been on here i haven't been checking out the materials and farming them all up well anyway i also did the inside of here today um the idea was that this tower was going to be like the end of the uh, Great Hall. And the Great Hall was going to have these stained glass windows, which still to be created, stained glass windows. And that it would lead into this set of towers at the front here. So it would all be linked in nicely. All great. Awesome. Still got to do an ore child type setup here, but I don't know at the minute. Because we've moved on to another era. So I don't know how much more magic I'll do in here. Uh, but like I say, I might ask Grok to uh, bring some of his magic stuff, like his magic stuff from over there, into here maybe. Because I was intending on building a blood magic altar in that area there, in that tower, and having some bits and pieces above and below. Um, and then Grok built one right there, and that's more than adequate for both our needs, and he said I can use it anytime I want. So I don't really need to build it in here. Maybe I'll just build something that is inactive just for the fun of the build and just make this place look cool. These walls need to extend up to the ceiling and then it'll be kind of uh, a, a teardrop shape, I guess. Kind of a teardrop shape. It'll come from here and then spread out and then back into the crown, uh, into the tower and then back again. So we're going to have a nice dramatic window there in that tower. Some dramatic windows on this side here. And then maybe we'll do some great big picture walls. Like hang paintings and tapestries and stuff up on these walls here. Uh, we do have an entrance here which has not yet got a proper use. But when it lines up, it lines up perfectly with the next tower. So that's kind of the middle of the next tower. So at this kind of point here of the next tower, right there. So it lines up so that will go into the next tower and out of the next tower and so on. So they are slightly offset by a little ways. Um, I suppose this would be... that's the corner of. So I suppose this would be the middle of the tower. This would probably be about the middle of the tower. And so it's offset by maybe five or six blocks just to follow the contour of the mountain around into there. That'll be good, yeah. Uh, but my idea for the next phase of the build, the next phase of the build, my ideal is to make something happen natural in this area. So this area next to here. I would like to have the magical cave set up there and have some cascading flowing water some kind of thing going on here and i might make this section coming around here from from here to here i might have this section kind of um a steampunk feel the the era that we've gone into is the steel era and in that we've got railcraft and immersive engineering as two really cool mods that are in that era so I'm thinking that we're moving on now. I would really have liked to get this cave finished. That was what I was building. I was trying to get the cave finished off camera so I could have all my Britannia and Roots stuff in here in case we want to make anything from Britannia or Roots again. But I'm moving on today. I'm moving on. Because of the next stage of the build on the outside, it's going to require me to have some water wheels and um, some steampunky type stuff. And I think water wheels and windmills and things like that look very steampunky, don't they? So I've got all of these things in mind. And I've not done immersive engineering before. So immersive engineering it shall be, right? Immersive engineering. I'm going to have a look at immersive engineering. I've done a bit of railcraft in my time. Quite a bit of railcraft in my time. I've done traincraft and railcraft and all that in a series together. And I don't think railcraft has changed that much since I did that series. So I'm not planning on doing too much of that. But I've always kind of touched upon doing a bit of immersive engineering. In in a way, I did a bit of engineering with the um, Avant mod pack where we made a crusher. I'm trying to find it while I'm talking about it. Find Made a crusher. It was something that crushed up some emerald ore and gave us the best return on emerald. So we had a crusher in our spaceship. But I haven't done all the other things, the turbines and the windmills and things like that. And I think that it would be a great way to generate my power for the base 
at this stage in the steel era would be to have a steampunky windmill and water wheel type effect okay and as i've never done it before we're going to do it together in this let's play on this series so first off i need an engineer's manual now i've done the engineer's manual and the tools before but let's just start from the very basics today and go with a book and a lever bound to have some books and levers around well there's a book that's a good start and there's a stick to help me make a lever do i already have a lever though let's see i'm, I'm guessing that i've got something already yeah i have yeah of course i've already got the lever i've got various various bits and pieces let's have a look see what we've got in here i was going to put the stick on then after all that there we go take that engineer's manual bing no special achievement get i guess not ah oh, there it is achievement get so update news have we got any updates no we haven't got any update news thanks for that overview and resources so we've got ores alloys metal plates industrial hemp coke oven blast furnace mineral deposits graphite shades all these different things that we've probably already picked up and done stuff with. The coke oven, I don't think we've done anything with that. The coke oven is the first important machine you will need to create in order to proceed with en immersive engineering. Its functionality is simple. It will heat up coal or blocks of coal without supplying it with oxygen. What? It will heat up coal or blocks of coal without supplying it with oxygen, creating coal coke and a carbon rich fuel which is very much the same as in the railcraft coal coke ovens more importantly this process creates creosote ore which is used as a preservative for treated wood similarly you can also burn wood logs into charcoal with this oven albeit with a smaller yield of creosote well i've already got a creosote supply kind of uh coke oven arranged blah 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 so i can make coal coke and i can make um creosote well, I've already got a mini setup over here where I'm currently generating charcoal and I can recook the charcoal to make creosote. So we've got some creosote being produced already. I know that Railcraft and Immersive Engineering both make tons more creosote, but we've got a little supply already, so let's let's kind of skip ahead a little bit for that. We'll we'll skip on to the next thing. So, blast furnace. A crude blast furnace is used to increase the carbon content of iron turning it into steel thus the steel era is upon us to achieve this only pure high carbon fuels may be used for the furnace specifically coal coke so there is the reason why i must make it uh, apart from coal coke and charcoal so they both could be used coal coke probably a little bit better though, eh? uh, along with steel the furnace will also create slag which you must remove or the furnace will cease to function. While technically a waste product, you can use slag to create concrete. Okay, so we need bricks, blaze powder and nether bricks in order to make blast bricks. To form a blast furnace, arrange 27 of these blocks in a 3x3 cube, right click one of the sides, center blocks with the engineer's hammer and follow the, to the next diagram. So it's basically the same as railcraft blast furnace, I should think. Uh, possibly just a little bit simpler to make. Let's have a look at um, blast furnace. Blast furnace to make steel. So there's an immersive engineering blast furnace brick. Yeah. And do we have do we have railcraft blast furnaces anymore? Oh, okay. Well, there's tech reborn, but we don't have a recipe for that yet. Industrial craft two, we don't have a recipe for that yet. Blast furnace preheater for immersive engineering. Okay. But no railcraft blast furnace. Is that a thing? Have we lost Railcraft bla uh, Blast Furnace? Have they decided to not do Blast Furnaces? Uh, are they just stuck to carts in this version? I don't blame them if they have, because Immersive Engineering is pretty cool. Maybe they've teamed up and said, right, Immersive Engineering, you do all this cool stuff for the making of things, and we'll do all the cool cart stuff like we're supposed to. It doesn't look like there is anything anymore, does it? Okay. Well, that makes sense then. Okay, so we've got to do that. So I'm going to need to find a supply of blaze um, blaze rods, blaze bits. I suppose Grox Farm's probably got enough of that. And some bits and pieces for making the bricks. I've got some normal bricks. I'm going to need to get some more normal bricks and some more nether bricks and stuff together and start making a blast furnace to get some steel underway, eh? 
Okay, hopefully I've done my calculations correctly and this is the right amount. Decided to put it in the, the area here. Should be a 3x3 three three and not that bit. Let me get me pick. Pick some of the bar, take that. Not that bit. 3x3x3. Three by three by three. So it should be kind of like this then. And I should expect it to be with the hole in the middle like this. And then boom. Two spares, that's what I was expecting, yes. Okay, and then I'm supposed to make a thing. A thing. A thing is a technical term for a hammer, just in case you weren't aware. An engineer's hammer, indeed. There we go. A hammer. And then click on there. Right click on it. Left click on it. Right click on it. Shift right click on it. What, what, what have I done wrong? Okay, what have I done wrong? Let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Automate will in all outputs will be arranged blah 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 Okay, speedy up Speedy up, speedy up, speedy up Like that, okay, so it doesn't have a gap in the middle Really? Okay, fine I was expecting it to have a gap in the middle Wouldn't you expect it to have a gap in the middle? Like the old rail furnaces And then, boom, there we go Really hot topic achieved so we get one blast rock, blast bit re left over. Okay, so now what? Now in here, I'm guessing that I put charcoal. I put a charcoal. Uh, let's get a few charcoal and some iron. Let's put a few iron in because we're going to need a bit of steel. So this is where we're going to make steel. Can we just shift it in? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Okay. And as I recall, blast furnaces take a very, very long time to turn anything into anything. It's always a very, very long time. We used to automate them all the time. And it's even using up all that charcoal. Because cold coke would burn for longer, cold coke would be better in the situation. Um, but I'm not make, I'm kind of skipping cold coke, aren't I? Because I'm just using charcoal for everything. That's kind of a problem, but... We're only making a few bits of iron. It's not like I need to... Well, a few bits of steel. It's not like I make tons. All I really need to make is a few of these water wheels to start off with, which is one piece of steel inside and a load of these water wheel spokes. So, let's at least get the first one made. So I'm going to need four water wheel segments, which is going to be three treated wood and four treated sticks per. Okay, treated wood and treated sticks just require a few of these. Let's get a few, like ten possibly be enough and what have we got the most planks of we've got a ton of jungle planks of course we've got a ton of jungle blanks and i don't use jungle blanks for anything else other than making sticks and things uh so we go all the way around and then add that in the middle and then that makes treated wood planks awesome a stack of treated wood planks it is and do we make treated sticks that way why yes we do okay so i need four of those don't i and then they go up and around like this and that was in there like this or something like that there we go and then i make these water wheel segments one two three four water wheel segments okay and then we've got to figure out how to use them um there's a bit of steel there we go awesome i got the upgrade and we got some of that steel slag as well while we're at it I'll let that carry on making the rest of it because I will need more than one wheel but just for now we're just going to make the first wheel and test it out to see if I can understand how it works now I believe there's got to be running water over it there's the main thing about it okay so we've got a water wheel right let's see about having a look to see what it says in here about the water wheel uh, power wiring transmitter geo Geo, thermoelectric, diesel, lightning rod, transmitters, power, power generation. Is it gonna? Is it gonna show me basic power generation? There we go. Water wheel, fairly easy, turning speed, blah blah blah. Wind wheel, yes. Do they all need to go into this kinetic dynamo? Okay. Transferring power is quite helpful full provided you have power to actually generate flux you can use the kinetic forces of windmills water wheels connecting these a dynamo will generate power based on how fast they turn okay so we need iron redstone and a copper block should be easy enough right should be easy enough that's a copper coil block 
uh, which is copper wire, which is this, which is that, which is that, which is this, which is, okay. So, simply put, I need a lot of stuff. I could make some actual shears, but I can do that instead. I can make copper hammered out. Let's see, is that copper? Yes, it is. Let's take a stack of copper. I can make copper hammer out with this hammer. Yeah. Let's take a, a few sheets. I don't know exactly how many I need, but let's just show you first, and then I can get on with making them. And then that makes copper wire. Easy. All right. And then the copper wire makes that together, which is a treated stick or any stick with four around. Makes four. Okay. So, well, we may as well use treated sticks if we've got treated wood. With four four of these around like so makes four copper wire there we go and I just need to do that for eight around an iron ingot easy easy peasy just like that so easy all right and then we put this on here with the redstone either side and that makes a kinetic dynamo okay so now to find out if the kinetic dynamo let's just pop it there for now right kinetic dynamo it looks like it's got an in and out section that could be the in section let's see if a water wheel's too big to fit on there no it's not good good all righty then so that's where the water wheel is going to look like that's pretty good isn't it pretty steampunky so can i just break it with a hammer can i break it can i right shift right click it or anything like that to break it with a hammer no can i tap this this turns that round okay right click in this turns it round okay very good can i break it and pick it up okay so next up for that i need to figure out where i want to put it and then do some water uh let's get some water out of here okay and figure out where we want to put this now the first one is just going to go pretty much anywhere on the side here I think I can experiment a little bit with where it's going to go but when I'm building this area I want it to look very steampunky so I want it to be a little cascading waterfall piece over here somewhere that I can then uh, have a cave hidden underneath so forget that line just there for now I want to have a cave inside here with water cascading down the side and a water wheel somewhere along here so uh i don't really want to do it just here just yet let's go down where this water is and let's see what we can do about setting something up as an example uh so let's put it on there and then put the water wheel on it just there and then we can put water on the top of it i believe it's water flowing over it makes it turn so let's put it as water on the top of there nope that's not where i wanted the water i want the water to go just underneath that bit because it's going to be on top of the water wheel just there there we go okay so and then you can't see the water wheel so that's not going to be great is it um so can I can I pop some extra bits on here? It's going to take a out out out. It's going to take a lot of work figuring it all out, but I've seen it done many of times before, so I should be able to do this. Uh, let's get the bucket back. Okay, and get it out, get out of that, and then put the water back in. When the water's finished settling, settle down, water, settle down. Put the water in there okay that didn't work either i'm gonna have to mess around with it a little bit more to get the uh, the look of it right because the practicalities of it is one thing the look of it is the other and i know there's a few places where you can put water to make this work properly but having it flow in from the top just kind of makes it funky for me i like the idea of that uh, let's go there and there. There we go. Aha! I see the water wheel moving a little bit now. Okay, let me let me just cut away and make this a bit tidier. It's going to end up going up there in the future, 
future episode, but for right now I just wanted to get something working. So the basic components that it's showing are... Uh, we have some of these... I don't know why it would take so much clay to make it, but still. Um, LV wire connectors. That connects things from one item to another. And then we've got the LV wire that connects between the connectors. And the connector goes from something to something else. A capacitor. The capacitor should store energy. Let's see what it says inside. Does it have any... It, it's showing on Walia that it is zero of a hundred thousand RF. So as you can see, the water wheel is functioning nicely. A bit of water coming from over the top gets it going. I think there are other ways, like you could have water flowing underneath it, and it takes it's the flowing water running through the 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 tip of it there. Look, running water running through it there, and running water across the bottom here. And maybe maybe running water running from further back as well. There's a few different locations that I recall. And where are we gonna have this then? This this method of flight I need to I need to sort out at some point. Um, can I do anything about this? Ah, okay. So kind of have a little Oh there it is. Actually, that's it. That's what I need to do anyway. So let's put this here. Okay. And we can put a connector on the top there and a connector on the top of there. And then we should be able to right click a wire on there to there. There we go. And now this is generating RF. That is that simple. And that's generating RF passively thanks to water power. Which is awesome, isn't it? So there we go. That's the start of our steampunk era. It's going to be a steampunk era. It's the steel era according to the mod pack but it's going to be the steampunk era and i'm going to do a little section around here that i want to do steampunky kind of build i want to make it feel a bit steampunky we'll get to more technological stuff in future eras so i want to bear that in mind but i want this whole castle mountain to kind of represent the different eras and the different stages we've been through so my castle has to take on the look of all of these different things and i need to get on with some building some serious building um before next episode though can you give me an idea in the comments down below look oh, bouncy back bounce back bounce back bounce back can i get into here can i get into here can you give me an idea in the comments let's see if this is a good end shot it is awesome end shot uh, can you give us an idea in the comments down below uh, whether you like to see this series as a building with Nemson series or whether you want to see all the technical magical builds and contraptions and things like that as the more important side of the series because I've been putting off doing the building on camera because I'm not sure that's what you want to watch and so I'm doing some of the informative stuff about how things work together like this. And I'm not sure if that's what you want. If some of you want one and some of you want the other, then I've got to do a little bit of both. And if some of you want all building, and then I can do the other stuff in odd episodes here and there. It's up to you. So let me know down in the comments below. Tell me what it is that you like about the Qantas on the FTOG server series. And I will continue doing exactly that. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of Qantas.